let's find the area of this uh, rectangle and square. Okay, so uh, there's only one formula to find the area of uh, a rectangle. Okay, that basically written in two ways. Area, A for area, is base times height. Let me write the full form, base times height. Now, if you don't want to write the whole thing, you can also write like this A. A stands for area, is B for base times height. Okay. In some other books, they also say A, which is area, is length, L for length times width. Okay, so length times width or base times height. I like to uh, use this formula. This is generally used in all books, okay, or most of the books. So I call, say this is the base, B for base, and this is your height, H for height. And A is this area. A stands for area. Area is the space occupied by a shape. So I'll write the formula like this. A is equal to your base is 5 millimeters times 2 millimeters. It's always good to have good practices. This is a good practice to write the unit as you do the working. So now what you do is you multiply the numbers. So it's 5 times 2 is 10. And one thing that you always should remember to write the unit. So it's millimeter times millimeter is millimeter squared. Okay, so, so this is how you should be writing. And if you don't write the unit, if you only write 10, it is wrong. Because 10 doesn't make any sense because you're not writing the unit. Okay, now this is a square. You can use the same formula. A is base times height. So you can call this the base and this the height. It doesn't matter because you can consider this the base and this the height because it doesn't matter because you're going to multiply. So this is 6 centimeters times 6 centimeters. Good to always write the unit with the number. So first you're multiplying the number. So 6 times 6 is 36. And then you got centimeters times centimeter is centimeter squared. And this is your answer. So basically, imagine this is a square of 6 centimeter, or this is a square of 6 centimeter by 6 centimeters. And so the area that this square occupies, the area this occupies is 36 centimeter squared. OK, let's do a few more questions. Now, this is a rectangle of 7 meter by 6 meters. So the same formula, A is base times height. So let's write what is base. So let's call this the base, B, and this the height, which is H. So I'll write 6 meters times 7 meters. So first multiply the numbers, which is 6 times 7 is 42. And then, then you've got a meter times meter, which is meter squared. So imagine this is a ground of 6 meter by 7 meter. So area is, this area is 42 meter squared. Okay. Now this is a rectangle again of 2 millimeter by 7 millimeter. Again, this is the base and this is the height. So area is base times height, which is 2 millimeter times 7 millimeter which is 14 millimeter squared. Okay. Now let's come to the area of a uh, triangle. Now area of a triangle is half the area of a rectangle. So can you see this is a rectangle. This triangle is inside a rectangle of 12 meters by 8 meters. And this area is half the area of this rectangle. So the area of a triangle is, I'll write the formula like this, base times height divided by 2. Okay, divided by 2. So basically you are finding the half the area of the rectangle. So I'll always write the unit. So this is 12 meters. So this is your base. This is your base. And this is your height. 
So it's 12 meters times 8 meters divided by 2. Divided by 2. So 12 times 8, you can use a calculator. So this is 96 meter squared divided by 2. Again, you can use a calculator. I know half of 98 is 40, 96 is 48 meter squared. Okay, I want you to do this yourself. Okay, so again, can you see this is a rectangle and this is half the area of the rectangle. So the rectangle, if you want to find the area of the rectangle, is 6 centimeters by 4 centimeters. And half of that is the area of this triangle. And let's finish off this. So again, if you want to understand, this is, you can understand, this is say a, this triangle is inside a rectangle. Oh, I can draw this better. So, if, the, if you imagine this is a inside a rectangle, okay, so this area of this triangle is half the area of this rectangle, okay? So, yeah, again, the same formula area is base times height, let me write again, base times height divided by 2. So first decide what's the base, this is the base, and this is your height. So this is in centimeters, so this will be 6 centimeters times, sorry, this is 7 centimeters, your base is 7 centimeters times 6 centimeters divided by 2, which is, first multiply the numbers, which is 42 centimeters squared divided by 2. And half of 42 is 21 centimeters squared.